Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February the 4th of 2020, well, is titled A Sunset Night Sky Over the Grand Canyon. So what do we see here? Well, image taken from the Grand Canyon, actually two images put together. So the image showing the mountains off in the distance, in the very illuminated in the red from the sunset, was one image. And then the Milky Way in the sky above, taken from the same region just shortly after, as the sun had fully set and the night sky had gotten dark. So not an image that you could get in one frame in that you would not be able to see that illumination of the mountains would have meant the sky would have been too bright to have been able to get the detail of the Milky Way. And as the Milky Way, as the sun set, then the Milky Way would become more visible as the sky got darker. Now, the Milky Way is our own spiral galaxy as we see it from within. So we're seeing here a portion of it, and we can see the dark dust clouds blotting out the light from behind it, making it less bright than it otherwise would be. And peeking through some of those, we can see the bright star clouds made up of many billions of stars, all their light combined together as we look at them off in the distance. Now, almost every other object we see here is also a star in the Milky Way. Uh, those stars are just are the ones that are much closer to us, so they are spread out in all directions. Whereas when we look towards the plane of the Milky Way, we are seeing the vast concentration of stars off in the far distance, much further away, many tens of thousands of light years away, as compared to the other stars, which may be just hundreds or thousands of light years away. However, there are two objects here that are not stars, and those are two of the planets. The planets Jupiter and Saturn are also visible in this image. Jupiter off to the right-hand side of the Milky Way, and Saturn a little bit fainter off to the left-hand side of the Milky Way. So two planets visible as well, Jupiter being a much larger planet and being twice as close as Saturn will look a lot brighter and Saturn a little bit fainter. And in fact, Saturn was the most distant of the original five planets that were known that could actually be, that could actually be seen and tracked through the sky in ancient times. So here in our image, we can see the Milky Way plus a number of other stars. And in addition, we get to see several planets, including Jupiter and Saturn, as well, of course, as the Earth in the foreground. So that was our picture of the day for February the 4th of 2020. It was titled A Sunset Night Sky Over the Grand Canyon. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Mini Moon. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.